Hold a moment. There's some kind of message written on that tablet. Another roundabout way, it seems like this tablet is telling us how to move forward. It seems there's more to Doomstone Keep than first meets the eye. The inscription says to create light with a divine mask, which I can only assume refers to the mask of Alkosh. Did the pride of Alkosh occupy this keep? Yes, the Black Beast. One of the Dragon Guard's greatest foes. A dragon of mighty power, which would indicate that this inscription was written by the Dragon Guard. But what were they doing here? The Dragon Guard and the pride of Alkash? We're getting ahead of ourselves. We need to find Nephalar, first and foremost. According to this inscription, the mask can somehow be used to light fires. We should search for unlit torches or braziers. Let's see if the mask responds to that brazier. That must be the Black Beast facing off against the Dragon Guard. Looks like a Khajiiti warrior is leading them. Perhaps she was a member of the Pride of Alkosh. She claimed the mask of Alkosh, just as you did. Wait, could she possibly be Jadari? Walk away from, eh?
Jadari is offering him the Mask of Alkosh, but he's refusing her. It seems to symbolize something, though I'm not sure what. I understand now. The Black Beast is Lutvalon. The Dragon Guard sealed him away, though it cost Jadari her life. And Nathalar is nowhere to be seen. Jadari joined the Dragon Guard to take down a fearsome dragon. The Pride of Elkosh called him the Demon from the East, while the Dragon Guard named him the Black Beast. But his true name is Lutvalon. Precisely. She must have needed the Mask's power to defeat Latvalon. Jadari and the Dragon Guard had another ally as well, Nathalar. He gave them his own horn to use against Latvalon, but he also refused Jadari something. And then the final battle. Jadari fell, but the Dragon Guard was still able to trap Latvalon. For centuries he was sealed away beneath this very keep. Until he escaped, that is which leads us to today's battle. What I'm interested in is how Jadari was able to use the Mask of Alkosh against Latvalon. Though I suspect Nathalar may have some insight on that as well. We should continue our search. Jadari. Ah, oh, no. It is you, Hunter. Deshu. Ah, oh, time blurs. It is the same as before. I can feel Latvalon's icy malice permeating this chamber. So this was his prison, was it? Ah, and now he has assured that it will be my grave. Yes, I gave her my horn, but it was not enough. And so she asked me to empower the Mask of Alkash, so that we could slay Lord Vulan and end his terror. Ah, I refused. Lord Vulan was sealed away, but not before Jadari fell in battle. It takes two wills to awaken the Mask. One is a champion of the pride of Alkosh, a warrior who has proven themselves worthy of the Mask's power. The other must be one of my kind, a dragon. Fenjunti, the will of my father, the Dragon King of Time, all Dove seek dominion, and so it is a king's command that is our bane. I will not turn away from you as I did Jadari. I will not repeat the past. I will join with you and empower the Mask. You are a worthy ally, and a champion of my father's will. 
Only together can we hope to defeat Lot Vulan. Raise the mask before me. It is time. Let us see what lies beyond the dunes. Apologies never did suit you, Nafalar. You are here now. That is all that matters. A new champion walks in Jadari's stead. We can still make things right. Poor Rakajin. It was his destiny to walk these sands, you know. To join with the pride of Alkosh. But greed drenched his heart like a freezing rain sapping all its warmth. And so, it fell on your shoulders to walk this path instead. Dragons, yes. And something far worse as well. Latvulan, the demon from the east. It was not enough to seal it away. You must succeed where Jadari failed. You must banish the demon unto eternity. As Alkash wills. Latvulan is the torment of chaos, a shadow wearing a scaly hide. It seeks to drench this world in anguish, as is its very nature. It will pave the way for another, a new moon filled with darkness. Then the tapestry of time shall unravel. Alkash watches we mortals with a weary eye. He will lend his power to one worthy, yes. But only if we are granted the aid of his blood. Only a dragon's power can awaken the mask. You seem willing. Can you say the same of Nafala? Of course, mask bearer. Jadari is sure you have many questions. Just don't expect too many answers, yes? It is not a place, but a story that has been and will be told time and time again. We are within the tapestry, and without it. Wrapped up tightly in its threads, even as we desperately try to untangle them. Alkosh is he who weaves the tapestry. And also he who is the thread. They unspool from the tip of his tail. When the thread ends, there will be nothing. We are all woven into his tapestry, Walker. We are always within the realm of time. Perhaps that is why Alkosh entrusted the Khajiit with his secrets, no? You compare the sands of the hourglass to the moments which pass through time. Can they truly be the same? But then, are they truly so different? It is one answer only the Dragon King knows. Perhaps not in a way so easily understood. Just know that the Dragon King guides you now, just as he guided you then. But it is you who must walk the path he lays before you. Never forget that. 